Hi, I'm Heather, and this is Itsy Bitsy Resistors. Today I want to talk about Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin and illustrated by Betsy Lipman. This book is recommended for three to five year olds, and as a former kindergarten teacher, I can totally vouch for it and say that they would love it. It's super fun. The reason that I love it is that in addition to being fun, it also teaches two things really well. One, the power of collective action and what it means to go on strike, and two, the power of literacy. So to the first point, this book is set on a dairy farm with cows producing milk and hens producing eggs. And these cows and hens have a grievance to air, which is that their barn is cold at night and they want electric blankets. The farmer says no, so they decide to take action. The cows first go on strike and they stop producing milk. You see the lock on the barn door, you see the outraged shadow of the farmer, and they start taking, you know, action. The farmer still says no, he's not giving in to them, so the hens join in the strike and they stop producing eggs. And now the farmer is even angrier, but he still doesn't want to give in to them. However, he's getting nervous. His entire livelihood is selling milk and eggs. And if there are no milk and eggs to sell, he's losing money and he's in trouble. So the animals start to gain leverage. They have an upper hand because they're putting pressure on him where it hurts him. Ultimately, they're able to negotiate and we see them before books end, nice and toasty at night, sleeping under their electric blankets. Now, the second point is the power of literacy. The way that these animals are communicating with the farmer is by using a typewriter, which you may need to describe to your kids. But even though they cannot say anything more than moo or you know cluck, they can type, they're literate. And so they start writing him these notes and posting them on the barn door. And this is the way for them to have a voice on the farm and to ultimately you know, win this negotiation and get their blankets. And so I think that you can use this book to tie in to and make really relevant to your kids' lives. So for example, I think that writing postcards is a powerful way for kids to be involved in government. They're not voting, they're not you know, running for elected office, but they, as they're becoming literate and learning how to write, they can write a postcard to talk about the issues that are important to them. And so I hope that you enjoy this book as much as I do. I hope that if you're talking to your kids about politics and getting them excited and involved, um, you can share that and I'd love to hear more about it. Okay, thanks so much.